All right, so if your Asus Transformer Book Flip TP300LD um, isn't rotating after updating to Windows 10 or installing Windows 10, so right now, if I turn it, it flips, okay? Um, but before, it wasn't doing that. So if yours isn't doing that, what you'll want to do is just go on Google, search TP300LD, make sure you're going to Asus.com, not some other random website. Like here, you can see it goes to like Walmart. So you want to go to this website. Okay, um, for some reason when I manually um, go to ASUS, the support and search for the drivers, it gets stuck. So you don't wanna just go to this support thing and then search. You wanna actually search for this, um, the computer itself. Then you'll go to drivers and tools or driver and tools here. Okay, and then what you'll wanna do is you'll wanna choose this. Um, find out which model yours is. Um, this one is TP300 LDB. The way I found that out, um, I'll show you in a bit, but it's in the BIOS. So it was, it ended up being TP300 LDB. And then what you want to do, even though you're running Windows 10, you want to go to Windows 8.1 64-bit. Okay. And then the driver that you'll want, it's, you got to keep scrolling down. And it's in this others. So you'll want this, um... In Vensense G sensor driver, uh, I was looking for everything, and even the device manager didn't show anything missing. But you do need this driver here. So once you download it, um, yours is likely going to look different. So mine looks like this because I have um, a program called 7zip installed. But yours will look like this. What you want to do is let's see if they have an option here for the Windows built-in one. I don't see one. Okay, so anyways, um, yours will likely be Windows Explorer. You can just double click and open this folder if you want, and, and it should open like a folder like this. Um, I'm gonna close this one. So this is 7-zip. Normally with 7-zip, what I do is, okay, usually with 7-zip, what I do is I right click this, 7-zip, and then I extract to this folder, which basically just pulls all the files out into this folder. So, if you don't have 7-zip, what you can do is you can right-click your desktop, click New, Folder, okay? You'll get a new folder there. Just highlight all of this, so you can click and drag to highlight all. Or if you're in this window, you can just press Control-A. So if I push Control-A, it highlights all of them. And then just drag it all into this new folder. All right. Once you do that, you'll want to install... Okay, um, so I don't know if this setup one works. You can try clicking that. I did both ways, but um, so if you click that, you'll see it does that. All right, I don't think that actually installs, so I click this dpinst file, and then it does this uh, installation driver wizard. So just click that. It'll say ready to use. After you're done with that, just restart your computer, and it should be fixed. All right, so... I'll show you how you find out what your exact model is, but um, start menu, restart. Okay, and then while it's starting up, you wanna press F2. It's either F2 or delete, but usually I'll press both at the same time, but I can't do this with um, both hands since I'm holding the camera. So I'm gonna press F2 and okay, it's F2. So after you press F2, what you go, you can see in the BIOS here, okay but it doesn't show the computer yet. So what you wanna go is advance and start easy flash. Okay, when you go to start, oop, okay, it wants to be plugged in. So I'm gonna plug the charger in. Okay, so, okay. So after you plug it in, it says press any key on the keyboard. So just press whatever, space bar. All right, so here you can see platform TP300 LDB. Um, I did update it to the latest BIOS they had. So if you want, you can do that too. You just download the thing, extract it, and then you can browse for the file. It's easier if you put it on a USB drive. But anyways, um, that's how you fix the um, auto rotation issue if yours isn't working. Hopefully this video helped you guys. If it did, please like, subscribe, help others find my videos. Um, and my channel so that they can also fix their own devices. 
Thank you for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.